Hello friends. So today we are discuss this question of the lead code weekly contest 172. And number of the contest number of this question is 1323. Three. The name of the question is maximum 69 number. The number the question is very simple. It states that you are given a number and you have to convert it to another number such that the number only consists of 6 and 9 and you can at most change one digit from 6 to 9 or from 9 to 6. As you can see in this example, uh, if we change this 6 to 9, this is the maximum number which can be formed after changing at most one digit. Okay, so now we, ha we are given this number and we have to return the maximum number it can be formed from this number. Okay, so uh, the basic logic states that we have to change 6 only to 9 because by changing 9 to 6, we are only decreasing the number. So it's better to just change. If we encounter a 6, we have to change it to 9. But if there are many 6s, which 6 we have to change? The 6 which come first while moving from left to right because changing that 6 will make the number most bigger in compared to all other numbers. So that's the simple logic as you can see this, this is the one six we changes in this question and uh, if we in this this is the six we changes because only, this is only one six available and in this because no six is possible then we don't actually change the six change the number and just return this number. So the code is very simple I've written it first we can use this function to string to convert this number from uh, from like integer type to a string type because it's very easy to deal with strings in such questions then we move from like left to right in this loop and if we encounter a 6 the first encounter of a 6 we just change that position to 9 and then break out because we don't have to change the other 6 position because we can only change at most 1 and if, if there is no 6 encountered then this loop will go on till the end and this if condition will not execute and then after it will just return and we have to again convert it to the integer type because the return type is integer and then string to integer function is called and uh, it will convert the string back to integer and that's it the answer is accepted and uh, i hope you like the solution i'll see you in the next video thank you